Hello and welcome to Buckman's Model Mania. Today we're going to be working on the Volkswagen T1, also known as the Samba. It is released by Diagostini, stage 88. Here are the parts. It's actually the side of the vehicle, which I'm really happy to be starting to get the uh, actual body of the car. It's been a long time coming. I'm going to go ahead and get the parts out. This is this is a significant piece of the car for you. It is from the um, front door back. I believe this is actually all the way to the back of the car. So there's the panel, some screws. I like the way they do this on these packages. This is actually, the hinge is actually under a piece of tape so that it does not get lost when you're opening it. I just realized, I don't think I have my screw on. Let me double check. Because if I don't, I'm going to need to go get it. Nope, I do have it. Didn't think about it when I was getting the parts out. So, here are the screw boxes. First thing the instructions ask you to do is to attach the hinge. And I'm just looking, it said before you imagine, ah, Sam, the, the uh, flap or you, the hinge, each side is one's a little bit bigger, the wider leaf is fit inside the rear quarter panel. Narrowest is located outside the body. So looking at this, this is the narrower side, this is the wider side. This is going to go on here, just like this. And I'm... Okay, just looking at it, the hinges are, or the hinge is actually going to be to where you can almost, it's almost outside the body. And that is going to be held in place by two BD08 screws. Go ahead and get those put away. And it's been a while since I did a video, so I may not have mentioned, or well, I know I haven't mentioned it recently. Sorry, almost dropped something off me, behind me. The D denotes die cast, which it's, means these screws are going to be going into metal. Let me go ahead and get the oil out. Put the screw on here, dip in the oil, and get it started into. the block of metal that is part of the frame that it's going to be held onto. Get the other one dipped in oil, lined up, and then I will tighten both of these all the way down. The oil, in case, if you haven't been been on my or other streams, the oil is to make sure that the um, that the screw goes into the die cast and actually cuts a uh, hole without a whole lot of effort or problems. And you can see there's the hinge. Now it'll open once the gas cap is installed. And that and that's what I was talking about. Is the hinge is right there in the gap. Sorry about the focus issues, but red is definitely not the favorite color of digital cameras. That is why whenever I'm working on something red, it will have some problems focusing. Take paint tray. 
PD04 is right there. Drop the screws in here. There are three of them. Go ahead and turn the page. What we're going to do next is we're going to turn the van, the front end of the van, and you can see right here there are two screw holes there. And that's going to line up with, sorry, right there is where it's going to line up with these screws are going to attach in there. So let me get the two screws that I need out. There's one, there's two, dip them in oil. And I'm not sure how I feel about the fact that we're going to be working on this part without finishing the uh, frame around here because I'm already leery of these snapping. Now I've got a really going to have a really long leg sticking out here that could snap. I let go of it and that's why it fell over. Let's see if I can roll this up on its side, not dropping it on its face and breaking things that are there like the windshield washer or wipers, those were a pain to put on. Grabbed it with my hand, so let me get some oil on here again. And started into this hole. Get the other one. Which, yeah, it's gonna stay in place now. This is where it starts to get interesting storing these parts because you can put the body onto the chassis, but then you've got to figure out how to not have it latch on and be able to get it off the next time. I, with the, just the nose on it, I actually had it stored on the chassis. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that anymore because I'm going to have to be able to take it back off. Get the bigger screwdriver here. I can't imagine trying to do this with the little bitty screwdriver that they provided for this build. And that is that. Let me double check. Yeah, that is all there is to do in this this um, issue. Let me carefully pick this up. Like I said, you can see you got some pretty good flex there. Not too sure how well that's going to hold up. I'm going to have to be really delicate with this so I don't end up breaking it. But it is, the van is coming along slowly but surely. And actually, um, stage 89, when I originally got my shipment from D'Agostini, didn't come. I had three of stage 91, I think it was. But I didn't have it, so I have it now. I will be making a video shortly about it, but it was kind of irritating. Had to wait about a week to be able to do anything. So that's it for this video. Hope you're enjoying this. I'm loving this car. Um, come on over to Hobby Time Modelers on Facebook, YouTube, and Discord. See what we're doing. Links will be in the description. Links for our if you care to if you want to join our Friday or Sunday stream will be on Discord. You'll need to join join us there first before you can get join us with uh, your video camera or just a microphone. Um, take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Have a great day. Have a great day tomorrow. And I will see you on the next video.